Good morning. Happy Friday to everybody. Um, just another video in my observations of an American living in Germany. This is more of a local thing. Uh, about a week ago, coming into Wiesbaden on B Route 455, coming westbound into town, there's a place where they have a speed camera, and the speed drops from 100 to 70 and then to 50. Well, there's a temporary work zone they put up, and they just put a sign that shows the man with the shovel, and they put a 30-kilometer sign below it on the same pole. Well, uh, I went through there, and um, I got the flash. I was going 48, and I thought, that's kind of weird. Well, I went back and reviewed my dash cam footage. And it turns out they did lower it to 30, but they really don't have any warning of it or anything. Uh, I posted something about it on one of our local social media sites. And a bunch of other people said they got the flash too. So I haven't gotten a ticket yet in the mail. Um, I've had people tell me, oh, it's only going to be 30 euros. But 48 and a 30, it's probably going to be more than that. But I just sort of think it was a, uh, you know, I, a German road signs are usually pretty good. But when they do something like that, they should have maybe put the two little uh, two little red flags on it or maybe a blinking yellow light or something because it was a Sunday when I went through there. There was no construction going on. Obviously, it was Sunday. There's no workers or anything. So it's like if you're going to have a work zone, normally in most of the places in the States, the work zone speed limit only applies when there are actually workers there or if they have a yellow flashing light. So, because I'll put it, like a 55 zone will go down to 35, and it'll say speed work zone speed limit when flashing. I know they don't really do that in Germany, but uh, a lot of people say that, that oh, I was looking at my speedometer because I always have to make sure I'm under 50, because they do give a lot of tickets out there. So it'll be interesting to see uh, if I get a ticket in the mail and how much it'll be. Um, I got one ticket back in... January, I think it was January, I got one on the Autobahn in a construction zone on a Sunday morning. Um, I was going 97 and the speed limit had dropped to 80. And I had to pay that electronically, but I got no points. And my wife got one the first day we were here uh, last August. And that was a local, it was like 30 euros or something like that. And then she got another one when we were driving through Switzerland. And that was 40 euros. So they do have a lot of cameras around here. And, you know, ignorance of the law is no excuse. I understand that. But you would just think in a situation like that, they would have marked it a little bit better. You know, and especially when you can't see anybody working. So there, there was a maybe about a half a kilometer beyond that. They did start putting up pylons where they went from one, two lanes down to one. But that was well ahead of that. But um, yeah, anyway, if you drive through Germany, if you live over here, you'll, you'll be familiar with that. They have cameras in a lot of places. Uh, a lot of people in the States think that Germany doesn't have any speed limits. And they do very much have speed limits. They definitely do. So I just chalk this one up to one of those things that uh, good judgment comes from life experience. And much of life experience comes from having bad judgment. So there we go. Anyway, that's my little rant, my observation for the day. I'm I'm not trying to to whine about it. I mean, it was it was fair, it was marked. I looked it out. I went back uh, on my dash cam footage and looked at it. It definitely does drop to 30, but there's not really any advance warning of it. It's kind of chicken shit, but you know, it is what it is, but now I don't feel so badly when I saw a whole bunch of other people posting People on Monday and Tuesday morning are like, yeah, I went through there and I got flashed. Because you definitely see the flash. So, anyway, that's it for today. Hope everybody has a great Friday and have a great weekend. Auf Wiedersehen.